Today is Friday, March 27th, and as promised, I want to return to the topic of fasting. Yesterday, I talked about the spiritual aspect of fasting, and if you missed that video, there will be a link below. Today, I want to talk about the physical aspect of fasting. Now, once again, fasting is consciously refusing to eat any food for a set period of time. Do drink water. Refrain from all food and other drinks, but drink water. In fact, drink lots of water. You should drink about four times as much water as you normally would. There is a biblical example in the book of Esther of a fast without water. However, that is rare and dangerous. I strongly recommend against it. How long you fast kind of depends on where you are in your spiritual journey. The average American can safely fast for about three weeks. You'll be hungry, but you're not going to do any damage to your body. The absolute longest a person can fast is about 40 days. If you have never fasted before, then I recommend starting with a 24-hour fast. <clears throat> Personally, I recommend doing a lunch-to-lunch -lunch fast. So whenever you finish lunch, that would begin your fast, and then you break the fast 24 hours later with the next lunch. So if you started your fast by finishing lunch on Tuesday at 12.30, then you would break your fast by starting lunch on Wednesday at 12.30. If you've done a 24-hour fast a few times and you're feeling pretty comfortable with it, you might consider moving on to a three-day fast. Now, in a 24-hour fast, usually the most difficult part of the fast comes about an hour or two after you would normally eat supper. Part of this is because of hunger, but it's also because of routine. We train our bodies to expect food at a certain time, and breaking that routine can be painful, but it's also healthy. It reminds us to eat out of hunger, not just out of routine, and it gives us mastery over food instead of the other way around. A few other things you might notice in fasting, especially if you fast for 30 hours or more, is that your breath and your sweat might smell a little stronger. You could be a little gassier. Some people develop a film on their tongue and their skin gets a little oily. All that's good for you. In America, we do not have the healthiest of diets. So all those things are your body expelling the toxins that are inside of you. So in that aspect, fasting is healthy. You might also notice that you get lightheaded a little quicker, especially if you stand up fast. Just slow down and you'll be fine. Generally speaking, you can continue to do all the things you would normally do, including exercise, as long as the exercise is not too strenuous. Obviously, there are a few people who should not fast. Diabetics, pregnant women, and people with certain other medical conditions should not fast. Generally, someone who is eight years old or older can fast for a day or two, but you should not do a prolonged fast until you're at least 17 years old. One last thing I'll say about fasting. Fasting is not an effective way to lose weight. After about the third day of fasting, your digestive system shuts down. Your body goes into a kind of survival mode. That's not bad. It's not dangerous. It just means that you're not burning through fat as quickly as you normally would. So it's not a good way to lose weight. The only way to lose weight long term is through a healthy diet and exercise throughout your life. Fasting is not the way to do that. Fasting is about your relationship with God. And if you find that in your own mind your fast is more focused on the physical aspect like weight loss, then the best advice I can give you is to bring that issue to God. Tell him about this struggle and ask him to focus your fast on him, and he will answer that prayer. May God be with you, and I'll see you tomorrow.